All right, today I'll be doing practice problem number one for homework number two. We will start with what we know. Okay, so we know that it is currently 10 a.m. on February 8th in the problem, not right now, of course, in Dayton, Ohio. And we have been asked to find both the solar elevation and the solar azimuth angle. So remember, this is the angle from the ground to the sun, the elevation. This is the angle from due south to where the sun is on the horizon. So these two angles set the position of the sun in the sky. In this problem, we're going to demonstrate how to take a time and a day and a place and find the sun's position, which honestly is really cool that we can do that. Think about how many people since the dawn of time have wanted to solve this problem. And today, I'm going to show you how. OK, so there is a pretty standard formula we use uh, following some steps. The first thing we do is we find D, which is the day of the year relative to January 1st. So since this is February 8th, we do 31 days in the month of January plus 8 days in the month of February, which gives us 39 days. So this is the 39th day of the year. Now what we do is we calculate the EOT, the equation of time, which is 9.87 times the sine of 2b minus 7.53 times the cosine of b minus 1.5 times the sine of b. This accounts for the wobble in the Earth's orbit around the sun, um, since every day isn't exactly 24 hours. This accounts for that and adjusts um, the current time and day to the actual position of the sun. So in order to calculate that, we have to find b, which is 360 over 365 times d minus 81. Using a D of 39 days here, then we get B is minus 41.4. And when we plug it in to the equation of time here, here, and here, we get that the equation of time is equal to minus 14.45. And the units of the equation of time are minutes. OK, so this is an adjustment to the current time accounting for the wobble in the sun's orbit. So really, on February 8th, this day is going to be a little bit shorter than normal. So we've adjusted the time accordingly. OK, now that we have the equation of time, we are going to find next an adjustment for time, not for natural variation, but for mankind variation. So we used to have local solar time, LST, which was when the sun was directly over our heads. But then we standardized time with time zones and daylight savings. So we need to adjust 10 AM in man-made time and get it into local solar time, corresponding to when noon is the sun is directly overhead. So first, to do that, we find the meridian uh, that our time zone is um, calibrated to. To do that, we multiply 15 degrees by delta T GMT, or how many hours away we are from um, GMT time, or the prime meridian time. And so in the city of Dayton, in February, we are minus 5 hours away from GMT. In other words, we are five hours behind GMT time. Now, if this had been in the summertime, then we have daylight savings. And this instead would be minus four, because we spring forward. So this is minus four. But currently, 
We are standard time. We are at minus 5. We do this calculation and we get minus 75 degrees. So this is um, the standard longitude that we reference our clocks to. So now we will find the time correction equation. This accounts for, like I mentioned before, mankind changes to time. So we multiply 4 by our current longitude and subtract that from our LSTM or our standard meridian for time, for our local time, and add that to now the natural variation of time, accounting for variations in the Earth's orbit, around the sun, and in its rotations. Okay, so we find TC by plugging in our longitude, which we will add those to our knowns. You can look up on really any Google calculator, the longitude and latitude of Dayton, Ohio. So our longitude is minus 84 degrees. Remember, everything in the Western Hemisphere, which we're in, is a negative longitude. Our latitude, remember, latitude is north-south, latitude, flatitude. Our latitude is 40 degrees north, so it's positive. Southern Hemisphere is negative, Northern Hemisphere is positive. So Positive 40 degrees north, minus 84 degrees west. Let's go back to our time correction factor. We plug in our longitude, which is minus 84. Subtract that from our meridian, where we reference our local time to. So at a longitude of 75 in the Western Hemisphere, that's where our time is referenced to. And that is a minus 75. Notice how there was already a minus, so we have 2. And we add that to our equation of time, which is minus 14.45, and that is in minutes. Okay, so plugging all of that in, we get minus 50.45 minutes. Again, this is a correction to time, accounting for that day of the year and how um, we need to adjust our current time based on what has happened, whether it's mankind variations or natural variations. We are now ready to find the local solar time, which is our local time, 10 a.m., plus our time correction factor divided by 60. Okay, so now our local time, which is 10 a.m., we need to express as a decimal Luckily, since it's an hour, it is just 10.00. But if we had minutes, we would need to express those minutes as a decimal by taking the number of minutes and dividing it by 60. And that goes right in there. Okay, so plugging in our local time and our time correction factor, which we divide by 60, then we get, so we're working in hours with minutes as the decimals. Then we end up with, 9.16, that is our local solar time. So our, though, our local man-made time is 10 o'clock. When it comes to solar time, being noon is the sun is directly overhead, it's actually only 9.16 hours, which is about the same as 9.10 in the morning. So we can now find our hour angle, which is the angle of the sun relative to noon, that is 15 degrees times our local solar time, minus 12, which is minus 42.6 degrees. So the sun is 42.6 degrees away from being directly over our heads. Okay, we're getting close, but we're not there yet. Now we need to find the declination of the Earth. So here is the Earth, here is the Sun. For now we're going to say the Sun is orbiting around the Earth. Here's the equator. So in the spring and fall time, the Sun is lined up with the equator. In the summer and in the winter, the Sun is not aligned with the equator because of the tilt of the Earth's axis with its rotation. This angle is the declination of the Earth. This spot corresponds to the summer solstice 
in the northern hemisphere. So this is us right here. And this right here, this is the winter solstice. And then these would be the fall and spring equinox is. Okay, so to find that declinational, declination angle, you multiply 23.45 degrees, which is the maximum it can be. Those and you multiply that by the sine of 360 over 365 times d minus 81. Okay, and that is minus 15.51 degrees. So the sun is currently about here, which makes sense. It's winter, and we're up here. Okay, we have the declination angle and the hour angle. Uh, we are now ready to find the solar elevation alpha, which is a little bit long, but we're going to write it out. That is the inverse sine of the sine of the declination angle times the sine of phi, which is the latitude, remember latitude, latitude, plus the cosine of our declination angle. We're going to switch colors. All right, cosine of our declination angle times the cosine of, again, our latitude, and finally multiplied by the cosine of our hour angle, HRA, which we found here. Whew. So we put in our declination angle, our latitudes, and the HRA, which was everything we did here all the way up to this point was to find the hour angle or the angle of the sun in the sky. When we do that, we get an alpha of 21.8 degrees. Okay, finally, we need the solar azimuth, which is again, the angle of the sun in the, in the horizontal plane relative to south. That we can find using a simple equation if we know the elevation. And that is the inverse sine of the sine of the hour angle times the cosine of the declination angle divided by the cosine of alpha. Okay, so this is our equation to find the solar azimuth relative to south. And we get minus 44.62 degrees. And you say, well, what does that even mean? So. If this is our compass, and this is north, and this is east, and this is south, and this is west, a negative value indicates that we are closer to east because we are in the morning. So the sun, if we project it down onto this plane, is about here where this angle is the solar azimuth, a value of negative 44 degrees to indicate that it is to the east. A positive value would mean it was to the west, where zero would be to the south. Um, this is often reported relative to north, which in that case, we would just find this angle being 180 degrees minus 44.62 degrees. Okay, well, there you go. We have done what people for thousands of years have been doing, finding the position of the sun for a given time, date, and location. Thanks for watching.